Mom started shopping in April when the springtime sales began. She was always a little short on money, so she'd use their layaway plan. She'd pay some down and she'd hold them for three months, sometimes more. She was on first name basis with the credit folks at every store. She'd list all the members of the family and cross them off as she went scouring those clearance baskets and counting every penny she spent. She'd look hard at every price tag, go through the list in her mind, saying something like Sandy would love this, and she'd go straight to the layaway line. She always came home from shopping with a bag we weren't allowed to see. She'd stash it in her bedroom closet, thinking it was safe from my sister and me. And in all those years growing up, not once did I ever peek. Okay, that's a lie, but the family's going to hear this song next week, so. She bought stuff that didn't sell last Christmas, or hadn't sold since who knows when. Damaged goods and used displays in the discontinued bin. And we loved how she thought about us, and it'd kill her if anyone was missed. You knew if you were friend or family, you were on Mary Lou's Christmas list. I'll never forget that Christmas. I got a clearance sale G.I. Joe. He only had one boot and his pistol had teeth marks, but who would know? And I added him to my collection of all the stuff Mom got on sale. All the closeout action figures, another scratch and dent holy grail. You know it never really mattered that my toys had knockoff names, that I never had all the pieces to my Milton Bradley games. But then I got just a little bit older, started seeing how other folks live, and I saw all the imperfections and the presents my mom would give. I started seeing the chips and the china I started noticing snags in the clothes. I started looking at the name on the label and stopped looking at the love, I suppose. And I think of what I closed my eyes to, all the good stuff that I missed, all the heart and soul that went into Mary Lou's Christmas list. I came across a box in a closet held together with old packing tape. And inside was my prized collection, plastic heroes in every size and shape, a wily bunch of misfits, like some families we all know. And there under an ersatz Batman was my old friend, G.I. Joe. And I had taken a fine point marker and given him a small tattoo, the word mom and a heart on his shoulder, like a real G.I. might do. And I remembered that Christmas morning, mom smiling warm and nice, knowing she got what I wanted, and knowing she only paid half price. Yeah, I know this little box of memories, it's just stuff after all. Most of it made in China and broken on its way to the mall. But I look at these things and remember what all these years I've missed that I was a cherished loved one on Mary Lou's Christmas list.